Welcome to No BS Live TV, the place for prosperity without all the bull. I'm Bill Glazer, and on today's episode, we're going to take a look at some of the marketing materials of someone who has really embraced outrageous advertising in his business and a question on negotiation from a No BS Live TV viewer. So, if you don't know this already, and it just about everybody does, I love outrageous advertising. That's kind of my thing. And actually, it's made me millions and millions of dollars by doing outrageous advertising. So naturally, I admire business owners that use outrageous advertising in their business as well. And today, we're going to take a look at some of the work of my good friend, and actually, somebody who started using outrageous advertising the same time that I did, Dr. Greg Nielsen. Now, Greg has consistently used outrageous advertising in his business, and he's had a huge amount of success with it, and a whole lot of fun, by the way, which is another great byproduct of doing outrageous advertising. It makes the marketing of your business so much more fun. So let me just, I just grabbed a box of Dr. Nielsen's stuff, which is one of the cool things before I even start showing you some of his examples. What I'll tell you to do is, and I do this with a lot of folks, is I ask to be on other people's mailing list and on their seed list, it's called, because I get to see really good stuff of other people and I keep just boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff in my office from other folks because I'm always looking for swipe files that I can use to get ideas myself. So let me show you a couple of things that Dr. Nielsen has done. One of them is, and I'll just show you this here real fast, and we'll put it up on the screen also, is sending out a, a memo in a clear plastic bag, and inside there's a box, and in the box there's a fortune cookie in there, and you can actually, see I'll open this thing up and I'll show you. This is the box that goes out, and there's a fortune cookie inside, and you open it up, and you find out what your fortune is, which in this particular case is what your special offer is to go to Dr. Greg Nielsen's office, who's a chiropractor, and you can win a whole bunch of stuff, including a free adjustment or free office visits, things like that. So very, very cool. And just think about this shows up in your, um, in your mailbox, how you would respond to this, because again, you gotta look at this thing. It just makes you have to open up and look at it. Let me show you another one, which is one of my favorite things that Dr. Nielsen uh, has mailed out, which is this right here, which is the file mailing. And here you can see there's a, there's a, um, uh, a label on here that you put somebody's address on, you just put stamps on there, and you put this out in the mail. All you got to do is you got to tab it shut because the, the mail department, the United States Postal Service requires you to tab it shut. And then you open it up inside when you get it, and there's again, there's a staff memo which he sends out, which is really a sales letter with offers bringing people into his office. Very, very clever. Again, Think about it, this is in your mailbox. And then Dr. Nielsen, I'll show you two more things. Dr. Nielsen is just famous, famous, famous for his, his newsletters that he sends out. And just absolutely famous for his newsletters. And the thing that's really cool about his newsletters, and I'll be showing a lot of his stuff at the Super Conference when I do the special session on newsletter marketing, how to get your newsletters open and read and people respond to them. Because most people, don't know how to do newsletters the right way and is the most effective and powerful marketing tool anybody could use in their business is a printed, put in the mail newsletter. I don't care who it is, they should be using this in their business. But one of the things that he's really good at is making his staff famous his staff famous. So the people that work for him, he always writes about them, shows photos of them. They love it. They, they get notoriety in their town, and they're as famous as Dr. Nielsen is because it's really a cool thing and it's fun. So, so that's what he does. One last thing, and this I give total credit to Dr. Nielsen, and I have swiped this so many times. This is the original x-ray film mailing, the original one. Oh, by the way, our friends at 3D Mail, they actually make this available now if you want somebody to actually help you do this for you. And this is the original one that he sent out, which says, X-ray film, do not fold. It goes out. When I first saw this, I had to swipe it for my menswear business. And the example that I swiped for my menswear business is in my book, Outrageous Advertising. But inside here, there is the letter from the staff, the uh, prescriptions, and 
It is the x-ray film, I hope you can see this, the actual x-ray film that he sent out, which is just really a, a piece of clear plastic that you can just make on any printer that's available out there. So again, the original x-ray mailing was created by Dr. Greg Nielsen. At least that's the first person I ever saw do it. And so many of us have swiped this and used it in our own business over and over and over again. So now you can see why I'm such a fan of Dr. Nielsen. And Dr. Nielsen, if you're watching this, big shout out to you. You're doing great stuff. So now it's time for Ask Bill, That's Me. And today's question comes from a No BS Live TV viewer, Daniel Johnson in Chicago. Now Daniel asks, I've got a major meeting with some potential partners coming up where we're going to be discussing strategic partnerships in our business. What is your number one strategy for negotiating and coming out on top of these kinds of deals? Well, that's really an interesting question, Daniel, because let me just tell you something right off the bat. I'm not 100% sure that you want to come out on top. I actually think it's always best when you do a deal with somebody else that they get actually a little bit more than you get. As long as you win and they win a little bit more, they'll always be happy. But here's a couple of things that I want you to think about. Again, I don't have enough details from you to really know the particulars, but this is just general for everybody. When you're doing strategic partners with each other, one of the things you always want to try to figure out is how each of you can get access to each other's customers. So if your partner has customers, how they can help promote you. And if you have customers, you can promote them. And of course, you can do revenue sharing on both ends of this. Also, the other thing is, is you want to think in terms of what, uh, the resource. If you're the source for your strategic customer or your strategic partners, that where they actually get a buyer out of it, that those buyers always link back to you. So as the buyer buys more from them, then you will always continue to get revenue streams from them as they continue to buy, and again, vice versa. And the last thing I would say is the secret sauce in a strategic partnership, and it's really the secret sauce, is relationship. Relationship. So this is now you're in the business of creating relationship with each other. And that's the thing that will keep the strategic partnership together. If people really enjoy working with each other, they know each other, they trust each other, and there's a relationship with each other. Now, I do have one more comment for you, Daniel, that you didn't really ask me, but I do have a recommendation for you. I believe every time that you work out what the strategic partnership looks like, I'm a big believer in going to an attorney. Yes, going to an attorney. You heard, Bill, you heard Bill Glazer tell you to go to an attorney. As much as I'm, we make fun of those guys all the time, get yourself a real rational business attorney who's not going to complicate it but make a real simple agreement so that it all gets memorialized, everybody signs off on it, so there's no problems later on. Uh, and the, if the partnership does have a problem, it's all written out how you actually divide everything up, how you can exit the partnership, on and on and on and on and on. So, Daniel, there you have it. And thanks for your question. It was a cool question. And let's see what Jessica has for you this week because you won our web deal. And everybody can hear about our web deal because they can go ahead and invest in it this week at a huge savings. Hi, this is Jessica with this week's Beat the Clock web deal. If you missed Dan Kennedy's Creative Thinking for Entrepreneurs workshop, where he revealed unique, new insights into the creative entrepreneurial thinking process, don't worry, you're in luck. Here's your chance to eavesdrop on some of the highlights of the one-time only event that could be worth a fortune. Here are just a couple of the specific topics covered. How to recognize the number one enemy of creativity and shoot it dead on site. King Kong thinking, how to dominate a target market, and much more. Beat the clock and invest in creative thinking for entrepreneurs at 30% off, but only until Monday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern. Check the banner for more details. Well, Daniel, we're going to get that web deal out for you real soon. And for the rest of you, check the sidebar to find out more about this week's web deal. And if you want to have your question answered live right here on OBS Live TV, where you'll win the web deal that week, leave a comment below with your question or call the OBS Ask Bill hotline. The number's up on the screen right now. Well, that's all for today, folks. And as always, thank you for tuning in and let me know what you thought of today's show in the comment section below. I'm Bill Glazer and this is No BS Live TV. Stick around for a preview of Friday's new episode. 
Today we've got an interview with Bill Glazer and GKIC Mastermind member Earl Kemper. Earl talks about how he focuses on strategic alliances to help his clients grow their businesses. 